Hey everyone, welcome to this Warlord Games Black Seas um, rigging video. I'm just making this because I've seen a few people ask about rigging and I thought I'd try and give you a few little tips and tricks. Uh, the things you'll need is obviously your thread. Fine tweezers are really good for getting in there and grabbing um, stray bits of line without crushing other stuff, but also really good for holding the tip of a piece of line against some super glue. So when we come to talking about gluing the bottom of masts, uh, without getting your finger stuck in there, which is uh, really handy. A fine needle for threading through the holes when you go through the side of the hole. Um, the smaller the better. Um, even sometimes you might find some needles might be too big to fit through the holes. Uh, gel super glue is really good, so it doesn't drip and run down the mask. Just a tiny amount will, will stay exactly where you put it to allow you to use a tiny amount. And some very fine, sharp nail scissors to be able to cut the excess cotton. And the big thing I, th I say is that you've got a whole roll of cotton there that uh, you're not going to run out very easily, so don't shortchange yourself by going um, trying to work with a tiny fiddly piece. Give yourself a bit of extra uh, you, that you're not going to have to stress about running out, especially once you start gluing to pieces as you go through. You'll always, uh, you know, and if you get too much, you can always cut off the excess and uh, see if you can reuse it somewhere for one of the smaller pieces. Um, one little tip I've mentioned to people is when you're actually gluing your mask together, get one of these sails out for the type of ship and you can actually just test fit it to see where the boom um, and the gaff need to go so that you get them glued at the right angle and that will save you a bit of heartbreak later when you come to fix the sails. So the rigging diagram here it says to start by tying around this center mast and for the brig you're going to have to sort of um, adjust a little bit and what I sort of the way I did it was I sort of said, well, where it talks about lines between these two masts, then I sort of just ignore this one and, and treat the uh, mizzen mast, the back one, the way they've treated the middle mast here. Um, so, yeah, it, it means that I wouldn't have this, but it would go from here to the mizzen mast at the back, as you can see, and then back to the base of the, uh, the foremast there. Um, they said to tie a knot here and then glue these two ends. The way I actually did it was I glued one of them first to the base of either the mast or the base of the um, forestay and um, let it set so the, the, the rope was really secure and then just come up, wrap around the mast and back down again and use a little bit of super glue there and when that's dry and this line is secure, then tension and glue the other part there. Because um, it's just really fiddly if you're not actually tying them on there to get them to hold. So you could do a whole batch of them and just go glue, glue, glue all of the front ones with your piece of thread. And then come back and twist around the mast and glue. And then come back and go to the deck and glue. And that's where you'd use your tweezers to sort of push that thread nice and tight into that super glue. Uh, until it holds. Um, yeah, so it's pretty straightforward. A couple of things to sort of just look at is when you're coming along, make sure you're going above the sails. So you're coming above the yards, not under, otherwise you're going to have to cut your sails and you need to rig before you put the sails on. Here's a one that I haven't put the sails on yet. Um, so you can see the lines, they just, what I do is I would put a, a bit of super glue onto the mast where the thread's going to wrap around and then just wrap the thread around and hold it for a second so the super glue will take. Be careful when you're doing your rigging um, that the mast, as you can see, they flex and if you tighten your top ones too much, it's going to make your bottom ones sag. So you want to try and, yes, have them um, a little bit of tension to keep them straight, but not so much that you're making the rest of it sag. Um, what else was I going to talk about? Talk about super glue, talk about wrapping, talk about using the sails. Um, just take it one step at a time. The These ones here that come down the side stays, when you come around, this is where the needle is really helpful for getting through that hole. So you tie at the top, come down through the hole, up, and then just loot, loop from the back around that joint, a touch of super glue there will hold it, pull it nice and tight, 
not too tight and when that's uh, gripped and held then you can come down thread with the needle back through the other hole and then come back up little drop of super glue there wrap around the top and um, trim off the excess and that's a really quite an easy one to do there so yeah I found rather than tying knots at this scale just using a dob of glue and uh, and wrap around once pull it taut uh, the tail taut and then um, trim it off with the scissors and it'll be great and that's really all there is to it um, fitting the rat lines on the side um, what I found is that you can use the pattern to try and tell where you need to cut the hole. This is my first attempt, so it's a little bit rougher than I'd like. Um, but if you bend, once you cut the shape and things, if you bend just this bottom tab, it's going to make them lean inwards towards the mast on the right angle, and that's going to mean it's going to be much easier for your glue to stick. Um, you can see this one here, I need to re-glue because I didn't bend it enough and the angle isn't, it's uh, pulling off with the glue. Um, but once you have glued it, you can get your pair of tweezers and you can just come in over the top and you can rest your pair of tweezers in there to um, keep it in place so that it'll, while it glues, you know, make sure the tweezers aren't actually touching the glue part, but it'll keep the pressure on for you so that it'll stick nicer. And then you can come, when all your rigging's done, um, you can come and glue your sails and for those I just put a tiny amount of glue on the edge that's going to be touching the sails make sure you bend them first because otherwise you're trying to bend them covered in glue and that's not fun um, and then you can just line them up touching where you want them to go and the same with these ones here you bend them into shape put a very thin line of glue along the edge of the sail and then uh, come along and touch the rigging to it um, if you get rigging that is a little bit loose you can try and do a little bit of a, a sneaky tension and one way that I've done that is that you use the super glue uh, for instance you might be able to see just on this one here this one went quite loose and so I added a little bit more super glue after it and I just used the tweezers to push it down a little more along the forestay and that tensioned that line up a little bit so if you get one that's really loose that's something you could try uh, to help take the slack out of it a little bit so I hope you guys found this useful um, with these tips and tricks. Don't stress about it. Take it one step at a time. Uh, and, um, you know, I suggest practicing on... The brig is quite a good one because there's less to do. But you do need to um, modify the instructions here a bit because you've got one less mast to deal with. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. Love to see some of yours. Uh, let me know if you've got any comments um, or questions or anything you'd like me to try and get a closer look at that I can uh, provide some more information for you. So good luck. Have fun. Thanks for watching.